Hello, this is Klaus from QuantUX, and in this video I will show how the new Figma import works. Let's go to Figma. I have created here a small prototype with a login form. When you click on the login button, you will come to the Your Account page. Now I import it to QuantUX. First I create a new app and I give it a name, for instance, Login Flow. I create the correct screen size and I click on Create. Now I click on Import Screens. Click on the Figma tab and I have to enter the access key and the URL. First I have to create the access key, so I go back to Figma and I go to my menus, so I select then my account, so I have to click on my name, Klaus Schäfers, and there I can create actually a personal access token. I create a new one, for instance I call it test. The token is created, I have to copy it. I copy paste it to QuantUX and I also copy the URL. So I go back to my files, I open the login flow and I copy, copy the URL. I paste it in QuantUX and now I can click on import. This will import now the entire design into QuantUX. As you can see, the transition was also preserved. So if I click on login, uh, the prototype works already. For a real prototype, of course, we might want to have some more interactivity. So we add now a text box element and just add it over the ones in the Figma prototype that we have just imported. When I launch now the simulator, you can see that I can also enter text in the text field. Great, now it's time to start testing. So I click on share and I can open the test URL. This URL I could also share with my testers, for instance over email or if I want a public test over Twitter. Now that the prototype simulator has started, I can enter data and I can interact with the prototype. I can also scan the QR code to open the prototype on a mobile phone. Once my testers have interacted, with the prototype, data was collected. For instance, I can see a screen recording. In the screen recording, I can check if the users have interacted with the prototype as I have expected. I can also go to the heat maps tab and open the analytic canvas. The analytic canvas shows me first the heat maps so I can see where the users have clicked. For instance, I can see that a lot of users have actually clicked on the arrow in the home screen or doesn't have a function. I can also click on the user journey to see how people have navigated. And I can see that actually a lot of users didn't fill out the form and directly clicked on the login screen. Also, I can see that a lot of users have stopped the navigation at the icon in the upper corner. If I click on the heat maps, this confirms this. I can also take a look at the mouse heat map to see where users have spent a lot of time with their cursor. If I click on individual elements, I can see certain statistics. For the login button, I can see, for instance, that a lot of users have clicked on it the first time instead of filling out the form. Thanks for watching this tutorial. You can find more information at our homepage, quantux.com, or check out our GitHub repository. QuantUX is open source and free to use.